Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is the King Sutor. This is the first time of joining us. Kindly like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel. Okay, now today we want to see uh, exceptional demand. I will start the series on demand and supply. And if you have not watched that video, please watch that before that. Okay, we've saw the introduction, so types of demand and various items relating to demand. I will drop a video here or in my description. Okay, so ensure you will check that. Now, I want to see exceptional demand. Now, what is exceptional demand? Or what is it is also known as abnormal demand. Now, exceptional demand are the demand that do not give rise to the laws of demand. Okay, it does not support. It gives uh, what, rise to the reverse of the laws of demand, opposite of the laws of demand. Okay, that's what exceptional or abnormal. Now, laws of demand, the first law states that the higher the price, the lower the quantity commodity of commodity demanded, and the lower the price, the higher of what commodity what demanded. But in this situation, the lower the price, the lower of the commodity that is being demanded, and the higher the price, the higher, it does not follow suit the what the demand what curve okay normal demand curve moves from left to right indicating that at low um, price more of it is being what demanded for but for exceptional demand it moves from what from right to what left okay now the exceptional demand like we said is what that um, demand does not does not give rise to the law of demand it gives what reverse of the law of what demand now for exceptional demand the demand curve looks like this. So it says if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 5, and this is 10, 20, 30, 40, and this is 50. Now it says that at one price, this is price axis, and this is quantity. Now what is saying that at one price, less is demanded at 2, at 3, at 4 at five so it moves so it moves like this so it moves like this this exceptional the way exceptional demand curve looks like okay unlike the normal demand curve that moves from left to right okay so it indicates that a low price less is demanded and a high price high is demanded now, what are the reasons or causes of what exceptional demand curve? Now, the first reason for exceptional demand curve or cause of exceptional demand curve is articles of ostentation. Articles of ostentation. Now, what are articles of ostentation? These are items that are of luxury. Luxury items that people take pride in. For instance, they, um, it is assumed that once you have this item, they will have this high level of prestige. Okay, for instance, golden wristwatch, um, golden chairs. Um, these are items that have high price value attached to them, but they are what they are demanded what highly for. Okay, why? Because they are, it is assumed in the public that when you have them, there's um, a level of prestige they will be attached to you. Okay, that's luxury item. That's what articles of ostentation. That's one of the reasons. So once the price of this item are high, people tend to what to get them, especially the rich ones. Secondly, it's called articles of necessity. 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 Now, what are necessity? These are items we cannot do without. They are items that no matter their level of price, we must purchase them. Okay, for instance, let's say um, in perishable item, food item is Gary, for instance. You must what, purchase it, even if there's a high level of increase in the price. You tend to purchase more because they have what necessity you can't do without them. So these are some of the items that does not follow the law of demand. If there's increase in price, um, the consumers also what, have a um, high quantity of those items to be purchased because they have what necessity. It is necessary you have them. Okay. Now the third one is what we we'll call future expectation of high prices one of the reasons for abnormal demand or exceptional demand is when there's um, expectation of high price for instance um, there is um, a news um, a watch that in two days from now the price of a particular item will increase 
definitely people even at the increased state where it is people will want to buy more of it and also in the reverse if they said a particular item will tend to reduce at that reduced state people will not want to buy it because they won't let it to fall okay so when there's future expectation of increase in price or reduction in price it makes people either increase their purchase for that item at that level of increased price already okay not knowing what it will be in the future okay so that is another reason why the third one is rare commodity rare commodity now what are rare commodities these are items that is not easily seen around okay these are items that are rare and are not easily seen around so it is related to the um, articles of ostentation in the sense that most time people tend to purchase this item so that they can have this high level of pride and prestige because if you see it with them it's, uh, where did you get this item from okay and this item what they are attached with high prices because they are not easily seen so those buying it buys it in what a high quantity okay so those are some of the causes of uh, exceptional abnormal demand curve okay so that's why we'll stop for this video i don't want to make it to be that long now in the next video we are going to see elasticity of demand and see the calculation relating to that so if you have not subscribed to this channel please ensure you subscribe like comment and share this video please like this video so we'll meet um other students okay thank you very much okay thank you very much